Hey everyone, Coding Heaven here again. Uh, welcome to the part 4 of uh, Pong. I just wanted to fix a mistake here before starting here at, uh, it's not changed Y direction, it's changed X direction. I said of course in the last video, that didn't make, I made absolutely no sense. Like, I'm sorry for the mistake and actually I took the time to lower the paddles to show you guys that the collisions do work. So um, see, the, it just collided with that one, and it does work. Now we need to wait till um, the ball decides to go like that in this direction down here. So we're gonna wait for that, and I also want to wait to see that it's actually random. It looks pretty random. It's just there's none going this way right here. Why is it not going this way? Come on. It's supposed to be random, so I don't know what's up. Okay. If it's not okay, I'm just gonna set it up myself. Uh, okay, so where where does it where does it do that? It's in reset. Reset. Where's the reset? Where the reset function go? Paddle. Oh, there's a paddle. Oh, sorry. The reset function of the ball. Okay, so now. We want let's do this. X velocity equals one. Y velocity equals one. See it works. Okay. Perfect. Just literally wasted a whole two minutes waiting for that. Okay. Now let's start the key input class. Now let's go in source, I uh, go in the package I mean, new class, let's call it key input. Um, for the key input class, we're going to, of course, bring in the paddles. So in the constructor, we want paddle p1 and paddle p2 paddle p2 that seems legit enough let's make them into um into uh let's call them pd1 and pd2 because because we're going to make we're going to make them class variables so that's paddle 1 and then private paddle p2 so those are the paddles now we need to know whether the paddle is going up or down so private boolean up one let's it's going to start at false of course because it's not going up at the beginning it's not even moving at the beginning let's do down one equals false again let's do the same exact thing for paddle number two but instead of up one and up two is going to be down one and down two okay those are the variables we need here we know that p1 equals pd1 p2 equals pd2 eclipse is supposed to format for you so that's weird Okay, PD2. If anyone knows how to format an Eclipse, let me know in the comments. So now w what I want to do is I want to extend this class to the key adapter class. I want it to inherit its functions. So key adapter, we need to import it. Key adapter, don't forget, Control shift o to import. And in the key adapter, I want public void key pressed what what was my oh my keyboard is in French sorry English keyboard okay uh, and we also want public void key released the way I, the, the reason I'm doing it like this is because if we don't do this uh, every time we want to change the direction of the palette, it's gonna have a little lag. It's gonna it's it's gonna lag for a bit of time, 
like just a few just a few milliseconds but it's enough time for the player to realize that it lags control shift o to input key event key event e key event e done okay uh for int now we want the in the key we want the key code e dot get key code you know this, this is how how uh, straightforward java is i mean it can be really straightforward at times you know others i guess not okay so now we want to know if the key is what key event dot up we want the up arrow down arrow and we want w key and s key for um for for the paddles so uh it's vk look down here we look for it vk u is going to be u so we want because we want up so if we look for it we're going to find it there you go vk up and uh let's do the rest of the structure uh next is going to be vk down down VK down and then it's going to be VK W and uh, not not VK capital W and VK capital S okay so this is up up and down like is for the part of one the one on the left and W and uh, no no up and down is for the one on the right and W and S is for the one on the left because they're the corresponding um, positions on the keyboard okay so now what we want to do is up two equals equals true because this is this is I remember this for the paddle two up two equals true down two equals true semicolon here um, up one equals true up two equals true no 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 up two sorry sorry down down two down two because the s is going down as further down now this won't do anything of course it won't do anything we need to switch the directions switch the direction of the palette so we're gonna just do p2 dot uh, let's create a function called uh, I think we already created but let's see switch directions switch direction negative one okay no it looks like we did not create it so let's create it switch direction let's call it direction I'm pretty sure I already created it though okay no we didn't create it in the palette so uh, it's basically just gonna it's very easy you're just gonna switch switch the directions so um velocity equals it switches the velocity of course we in paddle we only have one velocity it's, it's gonna be negative it's going down I and mean, it's gonna be negative it's going up it's gonna be positive it's going down because we're gonna add it so it's gonna be velocity equals uh equals the speed times the direction that's given as a parameter so, uh I'm also gonna need a public void stop, a stop function, just just a stop. So this is gonna do velocity equals zero. As simple as that. Now let's go back to the key input class. Switch directions negative one. Uh, and here it's gonna be p2 dot switch directions one. In the the rest is gonna be p1 dot switch so. Let's change this to P1 and then switch directions negative 1 because W is going up. So direct is negative 1 and down here is going to be 1. Okay, now that is the key pressed. Wow, that was uh, simple. Now let's just, let's just copy paste this here because basically the same code is just now we take all this off and we just do uh, down to if uh, here is going to be down um, 
so up is going to be up to equals false I think I made a mistake here guys here's down one okay yeah that makes sense I was mixed up when I saw this false um, we're, we're just gonna make them all false because it's not true now they just released the key so it's not true that they're going up anymore and next the now I'm gonna show you two lines of code and those uh, I mean not two lines of code a few lines of code and those lines of code is are like it's the magic that makes it not lag so if not up one uh, up one and not down two uh, why, why am I doing uh, not down one why am I doing the different if not then we do p1 dot stop easy now let's recopy paste this for the second one if up two and not down two we do p2 dot stop and if you guys would like to test why this is effective you should like do the the, the changes of, of the um, of the directions directly here and you'll see and like without doing this without doing the up and the booleans and everything you'll see why it lags and you'll see how annoying it is okay so um so unfortunately it isn't working and i know why in the game we need to add it of course we need to add it uh i think this is all a joke isn't it okay so we need to add it of course we need to add it so it's after the window let's add it after the window so this dot add key listener and we're gonna just we're just gonna create it right away here because like we're not gonna use it any other input and we need to give it paddle one and paddle two we're just gonna create it in here because we don't need the variable like we won't use it anywhere else but I'm also gonna do this set focusable because this helps you like the second you run the the game what, what happened the second you run the game it's going to um it's going to focus on the screen so let's start okay oh, oh already bugged okay then okay that works okay perfect now let's uh the paddles they start at lower so let's change that make them start at the center again run perfect I like this I like this game I just move this up a bit now let me play by myself oh, that's a bug right there let me play by myself I won't be fixing that bug by the way because it's it's a bit too complicated it's doable I'll give that to you guys as a challenge but it's a bit too complicated to fix for uh, for um, as I said at the beginning of the tutorial that this is gonna be a simple game of pong okay that's done yay we're done the project thank you everyone for watching um, the next game maybe if you guys can suggest in the comments either snake minesweeper which is a hard one or uh, yeah between those two snake and minesweeper thank you for watching um, like and subscribe